All right, so got a 2002 Lance truck camper. You see how these rear jacks are at a slant? It's because these brackets that they mount to the bumper, these guys here, um, they actually go through, you can see them right there. Um, they go through the bumper, through these slots, and uh, and then they tie to this clamp bracket uh, with a bolt. So these brackets, the, what the problem is, is these brackets bend. You can see this side's not as bad as this side was. Um, these are the brackets that I pulled out. You can see how bent they are. And I've straightened this one out. They're aluminum, uh, flimsy aluminum, holding, you know, all that pressure from the from the bottom part of this truck camper jack. Uh, so I'm going to rebuild all all four of these brackets out of steel, uh, and then remount them with some some uh, grade five hardware. They'll clamp back into place with the uh, the original C bracket, which is it's steel. So one other thing that I don't understand why Lance did, but they you see that I've I've got one of these bolts out, and you can see the kind of the the tack weld that they use. So what that is. This is the reason why I had to pop this one out. They just cut the heads off of some bolts with just a little bit left. And then uh, I guess tack welded them in there. I don't think Lance actually makes these bumpers. I think somebody else makes them. But anyway, I'm going to replace that with grade 5 bolt um, with a, a slim head grade 5 bolt so it doesn't interfere with the, with this bracket when it goes back into place. All right, so in the shop here, I've got some Simpson ties. These are the same width, uh, but they are a little bit longer. You can buy them in a shorter, uh, you know, shorter length, but I'm just going to cut down this one side. I've got a pencil mark right there where I'm going to cut this one side down, and then I'll have more um, on this side here. I'll have more to, to put another bolt in that bumper. That way I've got two bolts mounted in place. And since these are steel, uh, they're a lot more rigid. And I don't expect when the two of them are, are mounted together, they'll actually slide through the frame like that. The, these ends will be cut here and here. And then, um, and then that will, oh no, that's actually the other way. So these ends will be cut here and here. And then these are the extensions that go back behind the bumper that'll have the bolts going through. So I'll be able to put a bolt here and a bolt here in the original hole, original hole bolt, and then an, another uh, bolt back here. So they'll be in there a little bit tighter. Let's see how that works. All right, so I've got this marked out where I need to cut it. And what I did is I just ran a couple of screws into the side of my bench here, and I'm gonna use my my uh, jigsaw with a metal cutting blade to cut those off. That way I can keep one hand free and get a nice clean cut. And then I'll just clean it up with the uh, grinder, clean up that edge. All right, here's the new steel bracket. I went ahead and just built the same way that the aluminum ones were. This is the aluminum one, here's the steel one. This is the, the aluminum one that See how bent they got? I've, I straightened this one out so I could get the right angle and the right length and stuff for this steel one, but got that one in there. I've got, um, these are 3 8 inch holes. Uh, I've got this one uh, already slid in over the, over the bolt there. You can see, and then the other one goes in right next to it. And since I had to drill this bolt out this side because it was just spinning, because uh, the tack welds broke, um, I'm going to throw a grade five, uh, in that spot. All right. So there's the new brackets in place. Right 
there. I'm gonna go ahead and get it uh, bolted up to the new C-clip. And then I'll uh, remount. I have these bolts loose. I'll remount those to where the jack is straight. All right, so the new steel bracket replaced the junky aluminum ones there. And now you can see that the jack is straight up and down as opposed to the other ones that are at an angle. So I'm gonna work on that one over there now. Get it fixed. So I'm going to go ahead and on uh, these uh, metal brackets that I made to replace these aluminum ones. I'm going to get the, the hole drilled on the side here and then the hole drilled for uh, the mounting bolt. So, both holes drilled, we'll get this one done. All right, so I'm gonna loosen these three 9 16 bolts and nuts. And uh, there's one 9 16 bolt and nut here uh, on this uh, C-clamp. this one because I need to get the C-clip completely off of the bracket. Now washer and a nut and the bolt and this slips down. All right so that exposes the uh, aluminum uh, bracket that I'm going to remove. Uh, take these bolts off and slide it out. So again, look at how badly those brackets were bent. And they're just aluminum, so not much supporting this lower leg. All right, so both brackets are in. The nuts put back on. And tighten them down. All right, so with these bolts still loose, these three bolts still loose, uh, so I can move this around. Go ahead and get this remounted where it's supposed to be. I'm gonna run the jack down. While I'm pulling on it. That way I get it out and then the jack will pump it up where it needs to be, where the bolts need to be. Right there. So that's going to hold it in place. Now I tighten these guys down.
Alright, new brackets. All right, so that, I think that's gonna work pretty well. Uh, it's gonna definitely be stronger. The Simpson tie that I used, the smaller ones, they're the three inch by three inch that I cut down. Uh, they're the A33 Simpson strong tie. Uh, you can use these longer ones here. These are the A66, so six inches uh, on each leg. Uh, and they can be, one side can be cut down and then you can leave the other side long so you can get extra bolts in there. Um, I didn't have enough room back there. I was gonna, that's what I was gonna do. And then after I took some measurements, it wasn't gonna work. There wasn't enough room to get any other bolts in there because of, that's where the, uh, the the sewer hose goes and there just wasn't enough room to get in there. I, I could have probably found a way to do it, but it's plenty strong how it is. So anyway, the A33s for the smaller ones that I used, uh, which are uh, the perfect width for the, um, the OEM slots that are in the bumper. Um, you just have to cut down the length to, you know, to make them the right length so it fits into that uh, C bracket on the, on the uh, Atwood jack. So anyway, hopefully this video helps you guys. Uh, if you've got a Landscap or really any other brand of uh, truck camper that's got some jacks that are a little uh, off angle, uh, like a lot of them do, uh, this is one way to fix it. And uh, I do have another video on my channel that shows on my truck camper, my, my Fleetwood Elkhorn. I have a 2003 Fleetwood Elkhorn. Uh, I actually strengthened my jacks by adding uh, two more brackets on the lower end of those jacks. So I'll, um, I'll put that video uh, link in the description below and you can check that out too. So anyway, hopefully this uh, video helped you guys out and uh, catch you on the next one. Later.